Backstage Brew, the review. Welcome to Backstage Brew, the review, episode one. We are finally here. I was invited to the preview screening of The Boys in the Boat, the new feature film directed by the icon George Clooney. It is absolutely gripping. Here's your sneak peek. Okay, first things first, Picture House Central, great cinema, huge fan. There's a really vintage feel to it, with loads of modern touches mixed into the design and overall vibe, loads of vegan options on the menu too, inclusive, and a stunning light bulb display above the stairs with this vintage pick and mix wall. What now please? So exciting, 100% going back. As will I 100% watch this film again. It's excellent. George Clooney, as we know, is a very gifted actor, and now a very gifted director, it seems. The boys from the boat compelled my entire focus for the full duration. And the main beauty of this film is that it's based on a true story. And you can absolutely tell, it's so good. The boys in the boat is based on Daniel James Brown's 2013 book about the United States men's eight rowing team in 1936. They go from University of Washington stars to competing in the Olympics in Berlin and win. It's really quite spectacular. In the film, we follow young Joe Rance, abandoned by his father at 14 and left to fend for himself. Fast forward a few years, he's made it to uni but has to find a way to survive to pay his rent. The opportunity to row in the university team presents itself and more importantly, represents a way to make money. And what happened next, quite literally, made history. Right, to be honest, I could pick out most of the cast who were all excellent. Joel Edgerton, phenomenal. He plays the coach ruthlessly, under the impossible pressure of having to win, but still finding those vulnerable moments to connect with Joe and the other boys. It's really, really powerful and really quite beautiful. The boys are all great too. That ensemble, the camaraderie is so great. And Callum Turner as Joe is brilliant. But I want to take a minute to shout out the love interest, Hadley Robinson. She plays Joe's childhood sweetheart and reconnects with him at uni. Her eyes are enthralling. She has this brilliant magic, showing off every thought of process, initially teasing him, enticing him, but as the journey goes on, she becomes so much more than a love interest. She becomes the rock, the best friend, the supporter, and she maintains that brilliant, playful magic throughout her performance, which for me, kept alive most of her power. And as we've had so many conversations about the representation of women in cinema, this was a brilliant performance because she took the love interest and absolutely ran with it. And I thought it was so flawless, so incredible and so powerful. It's so good to see. Overall, I'm a borderline fanatic. I can't really fault it. And I have to give huge credit, not only to George Clooney for his outstanding direction, but also DOP Martin Rue. Every single image on that screen glistened. The wide and establishing shots were breathtaking. Every stroke of that oar captured effortlessly. Every bead of sweat on their heads, like you really felt like you were in that boat, living the dream with them. And that is exactly what you want from a film like this. Fantastic. Five out of five. Get down to watch it. It is a true filmmaking masterclass. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Best boats, they're connected. Sweat and pain. What it's worth, I'm proud of you, boys. Inspiring. Uh, you missed the part where I told him not to tip over. And I won't. Roll for your country. Roll for each other. 